Hey girls, it's Brittany Valadez, and thank you so much for joining me in this video. Now, in this video, we are gonna be talking about things to do when you've been ghosted. I know it might be a sad topic, but we're not gonna make it sad. It's gonna be happy. Remember, like the Bible says, joy comes in the morning. <laughs> Anyways, if you girls like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I really, really appreciate your subscriptions. It helps me out. Also, if you wanna be one of the first to know when my videos are uploaded to YouTube, make sure to hit the notification bell as well. Also, you guys can follow me on social media. I will list all my social accounts below. It's pretty much at Brittany Valadez at all of them. All right, let's get started. First, I'm gonna start off with the definition of ghosting. Now, when you're ghosted, it's basically you're in a relationship and you have a person, so girls, you're dating a guy, and he completely cuts off communication with you. There's no warning sign, it just happened all of a sudden. And any attempts of you trying to reach out to him, he just blocks you. So whether it be not text, like he doesn't respond to your text, doesn't respond to your calls, he just one day decided to cut off communication. That is ghosting. The first thing you should do when you've been ghosted is to pray. Now when you pray, you're gonna pray about the whole situation. You're also gonna pray about the guy. You're gonna pray about your now ex and you're gonna say, Lord, maybe there's something that I didn't know that was going on in his life that he didn't share with me. So Lord, you know what's going on in his life. I pray that you will work through it and you will help him to become a better man one day. And you also want to pray for yourself because if you even go sit, it hurts. And a lot of times you want to have like knee jerk reactions and you're feeling all these emotions and you're angry with the person and you're hurt and you're just upset, but you're like, Lord, help me to have a balance in life. Help me to know that I'm going to get through this. It's going to hurt and it's going to sting really bad, but it's not the end of the world. I want you to give me the joy, the joy that, and that peace that passes all understanding. That's what you want to pray. Make sure that you're just being honest with God. After all, God already knows what's going on in your heart and in your mind before you even say it. So if you have some things that you think, you know, Lord, it's probably not really pretty if I put it like this, just be honest. The Lord wants your honesty. He knows the, the depths of your heart. He knows this, you just tell him, he already knows. The next thing you gotta remember is that it is okay to be upset. Anytime you're going through a breakup, whether it's ghosting or somebody just breaks up with you over text or a phone call or whatever, yeah, it hurts. And you gotta remember, remember that it's okay to be upset, but you don't want that upset feeling to turn into bitterness. That is where prayer comes in because pretty sure you're gonna have your nights where you're remembering the good times you guys used to have and then you think of, oh, he ghosted me in the last minute and then it, that can turn into bitterness and it can make you angry. So yeah, you may wanna be upset at first, um, but continue to pray because the Lord will be able to keep your head on your shoulders and remind you that this is not the end. Remember, it's okay to be upset, but continue to pray. They go hand in hand. The next thing to remember is that this could actually be an answered prayer. Now, for those of you who maybe you're watching this video and say, I never prayed for my relationship. I, I just thought the guy was hot, so I started dating him. Well, that's where we want to change things for the future. Now, for those of you who did pray about your relationship, then this is, could be your response to your answered prayer. Let me tell you why. There's sometimes many of us will date a guy because, oh my gosh, he is so cute and he likes me, what? Like, and you're in love, okay? But a lot of times that guy may not be right for you, but most girls have a hard time with letting a guy go, even if they know that that guy is, is not right for them. It can be hard for that girl to like not break up with that guy. Um, so what they do and what if you're in that situation, girls, I wanna encourage you. Pray for every guy before you start dating him. Pray that God will let you know if this is a person that you should be dating. Now, for those of us who can be stubborn, sometimes we'll still date a guy who's not good for us. But in that time, God still gives us an opportunity. Now, biblically speaking, we all have free will. So we can choose who we're gonna date. And yes, girls, we can also choose who we're gonna marry, just as much as the guys can choose when it comes to who they're gonna marry as well. So when we're dating and say you're dating someone and you realize, you know, Lord, I'm having a hard time. Like I cannot break up with this person, but I really like him. I just don't think he's good for me. Lord, if you want him in my life, remove him from my life because you know that I want to do it. So this could be God's way of saying, hey, you have free will. 
You asked me to do what's best for you. You asked me to remove this person from your life, so therefore I'm gonna do it. And then God will take that person from your life and it could be in the form of ghosting. So therefore it's an answer to your prayer. Now when God is going to answer your prayer, also remember that he's not gonna leave that void empty. He's going to fill it. If he has a good purpose for your life, which he does, he's not gonna remove, some from, remove a person from your life and then just leave you empty, no. That means that he is preparing you now in your singleness, which singleness is a gift. Like the most famous, I guess, theologian of biblical times would probably be the apostle Paul. So he talked about the importance of singleness. When you're single, you can use this time to have a relationship with God and even stronger relationship with God. Now the next tip I have for you is to plan your response. If you've been ghosted, most likely, yeah, the guy didn't give you a chance to respond. But I know sometimes, women, if you can honestly say, you know, I really wasn't dramatic in our relationship. I was friendly, I was patient, I was kind most of the time because um, I really respected this guy and I wanted it to work out. Then it's okay to draft a message and ask him kindly like, hey, I haven't heard from you in a while and um, I wanna make sure everything's okay or uh, your, your opinion is very valuable and I'd like to know what happened. Maybe we can work through this together. And if you're giving that mature response and he still does not respond to that, then there's really nothing else you can do. You've already done your part. And now women, if you were dating this person and you were psycho and spiteful and uh, bitter and yelling and cursing at this person and putting this guy down, then to be honest, we have to take it upon ourselves and say maybe we don't deserve to get a response and we need to own up to what we did. That's the only way you're gonna be able to move on and move forward is when you own up to any mistakes that you've made. That's what brings me to my next tip evaluate your relationship also evaluate reasons why the guy could have just dipped out it doesn't excuse his behavior but it's saying you know what maybe there was a reason why he just left without telling me were there any warning signs that happened before you guys before things started fizzling out like for example was he was he not hanging out with you as much? Was he not texting or calling you? Um, were you guys fighting towards the end? What was going on that caused him to just, just go? So look at that, but also take the time to evaluate your entire relationship. When you guys were dating, was there anything that you could have done better? Did maybe, or maybe, maybe you weren't encouraging enough to him. Maybe you didn't support him. Remember, this is the time right now when you're evaluating what happened. You can learn from your mistakes and you can take those mistakes, improve on them for the next person that you're gonna date and or eventually marry. The next thing you want to do is make your list. Ladies, I'm pretty sure you've heard this before. I'm pretty sure, maybe girls, maybe you have, um, about making a list of the kind of guy that you want to date or marry. And I think it's really important, but instead of just making a list on your phone, you should probably actually write out that list, like physically old school, because I hate writing. And when you take that list and you want to write it, write it out and then maybe put it on your wall or put it on your nightstand and go through that and say, hmm, Evaluate it often and see, does this guy that I'm dating or like right now follow this list? And I don't mean, okay, so my guy has to be six foot three, he has to be um, a famous actor or a lawyer. You don't wanna date famous actors, just saying. <laughs> um, oh, and he has to be really physically fit and blah, 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 blah. Okay, God may say, hey, I have a guy who is five foot 10 and he is a, I don't know, a uh, doctor, which is equally great as a lawyer, and he has blonde hair instead of your brown hair, but he's a really strong Christian. Like God may give you someone like that for you. So when you take that list, it's okay to write out your physical qualities that you want and also your characteristics, but know that some of those qualities you know, you can bend on them. And let's say, hey, Brittany, I, am, I have to have my six foot three dark haired lawyer. Okay, this is what I would suggest to you. Make sure when you have your list, you pray over the list and say, Lord, if you want me to be attracted to someone else that it's hard for me to do it, change my heart. 
change my heart, Lord, to be attracted to the right person that you want me to eventually date. First of all, that's saying, God, I'm putting you in charge of my relationship. And second of all, that's saying, God, I respect you enough to take over my relationship. And third, that's just saying, you know what? No one's perfect. We all have flaws. And I'm pretty sure God's going to match me up with the right person. Remember, make that list. All right, girls, I hope you were encouraged by this video. And I want you to know that if you've been ghosted by someone, it is not the end of the world. It feels like the end of the world. It hurts. Those feelings of abandonment, all of that are, are part of what's happening to you right now. But I want you to know, not generalize, every guy out there, not every guy is the same. We have to take responsibility in the guys we have chosen. I have liked guys who weren't good for me. I have liked, or I have not liked guys that were good for me. It, it all goes back to, okay, we know what's right and what's wrong. Are we taking those valuable steps to choosing the right person? Spend time in prayer, talk to your parents, wise parents, wise counsel, just share what's going on in your life. And remember, be encouraged. This is not the end. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I love you guys so much and I want to continue to encourage you. If you want to connect with me, make sure to follow me on all my social medias. It's all at Brittany Valadez. And also, do you have a story where you were you were ghosted once and what did you do to, to get over it? I'd love to hear in the comment section below. Until next time, I am Brittany Valadez and I'll see you later. God bless.